the D23 Expo happening in Japan, we got loads to talk about today. So let's jump right into it, right now! Hey everyone, Alexander here and welcome to Cruise Disney, your home for Disney news. New videos are released every Tuesday and Friday as always. So Disney has just hosted the D23 Expo in Japan, hosted by Bob Chapek. And we have enough to talk about that could be split up into three or four different videos. But I'm going to do my best to cram it all into this video so that you guys don't have to wait till Friday to get your Disney news. So, first, we have official new details regarding Pixar Pier, as we now know the official opening date being June 23rd. We also received a nice concept art image of the entrance marquee, which will be located over by the Cove Bar and Ariel's Grotto. One concern that I have with this piece of concept art rendering, though, is that it features Luxo Jr., the famous Pixar icon, the lamp. It was back in about 2010 or 2011 when Disney World included an animatronic Luxo lamp in Pixar Place, out in front of Toy Story Midway Mania, which, by the way, was truly spectacular. But sadly, Disney was soon sued by the company which makes Luxo lamps, since they never asked for permission to make it. Therefore, Disney had to remove the animatronic Luxo. This just all concerns me why they would go and try to put a Luxo lamp on top of the entrance marquee. On to Disney's Hollywood Studios now, as we now know more about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which will be the replacement attraction for the Great Movie Ride. So, the new ride was originally announced back at the Anaheim D23 Expo last July, and was announced to be replacing the Great Movie Ride starting in August. Since then, we haven't really heard any more about the attraction. That is, until now. Mickey and Minnie's Runway Railway will be opening in 2019. We originally speculated that Disney would aim to get this attraction open by November of this year to open on or around Mickey Mouse's 90th birthday. But instead, it seems to be opening the same year as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It was also revealed that the vehicles you will ride in will be the train cars you can see on the back of Goofy's train being, of course, Tractus ride cars. Now moving on over to Epcot, as we now know that the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster replacing Ellen's Energy Adventure will be one of the longest indoor roller coasters in the world. Another interesting aspect on it is that Walt Disney Parks and Resorts did state at the expo that it will be a family oriented attraction. The coaster will also have a unique ride system and a fully immersive storyline to go along with your adventure. So while we're on the superhero topic, Disneyland Paris is officially getting its own Marvel themed land, being Marvel Superhero Universe, which will be taking up a large portion of the Walt Disney Studios Park. This new land will come in phases, and unfortunately, a lot of it will just be reskins of current attractions. But we might expect the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror to stay the same and not be rethemed to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout the way it was over in Disney California Adventure Park. It's not 100% safe though, as it may be transformed in the foreseeable future. But a ride that is being rethemed is Rock and Roller Coaster which will be reimagined as a high-speed, hyperkinetic adventure featuring Iron Man and, of course, the Avengers. We did receive this new concept art showing off what the key will look like in this attraction. Another attraction that will be replaced will be the Armageddon show, which will most likely be another thing like it. As for Lights Motor Action Extreme Stunt Show, we can expect that to stay put just the way it is. It looks like we have a few years though until we can expect this new land to be implemented into the park. Next, as part of Pixar Fest this summer in Disneyland, The Incredibles will be getting their own float in the Paint the Night Parade over at California Adventure Park. 
Now on to what we have been speculating for many months, and that is the highly anticipated Star Wars Hotel. Coming to Walt Disney World, what we learned about this new immersive hotel is that it will be directly linked to Galaxy's Edge being developed for Hollywood Studios, like we have speculated before. We've discussed before how the hotel could possibly be getting its own entrance into Galaxy's Edge, but we now know that that is true. We've also received this new concept art showing a great view through these digital windows of a galaxy far, far away. Also, every room within the hotel will have its own digital window to add to the experience. Lastly for today, in Hong Kong Disneyland, they will be receiving an Ant-Man themed ride. Similar to that of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, where you use laser blasters to hit targets. We also got a look inside the queue. It's looking very nice, making me wish we were getting this in one of the US parks, since Ant-Man is my all-time favorite superhero film. But now, be sure to leave a like as it really does help me out produce more content like this, and subscribe so you never miss out on any Disney news. I'll see you on Friday, and I'll see you real soon.